and I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. So, everyone's been doing their dippity doo -dahs, so I thought um, I would try one. Uh, Fiona has us all wanting to make those beautiful designs, so. I have an 8x10 canvas, which I've already prepped with tape and push pins on the bottom. And I've already got a thicker white base started because I figure with my jobs and stuff, even though it's a small canvas, that it might take me a minute. Oop, did start my timer. So, let's just go for it. I know these, I've seen um, Claire from Claire Morgan Art and um, quite a few people have been trying the dips. And anyway, I just wanted to try one myself and... I thought, you know what, let's do some greens. So I'm going to do some greens and some blues. We'll see how that comes out. I want some little purple. Um, just so I have a better idea of how much room I have, I'm going to start with my yellow in the middle. And this is the Target brand, the Homemade Modern Honey. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the Art Minds Frosted Bubbly. Just a little bit around it. And then I think I'm going to do green, blue, green, blue leaves and see how that works. Now the way Fiona does it, I believe she works her way in. So I'm going to start with my lighter color. And this is my Craft Smart Mix again. A bright green with the Ara. Actually, this is the Craft Smart Bright Green with Artist Loft Titanium White. I wanted a lighter green before. So I'm going to make room. Okay, we Fiona does it. She does like two layers. So I'm just going to try to make room for the blue in between. This is a irregular canvas, so it's not square anyway, so these small ones there. And then I'm gonna add some f the oh this is the green flash. I wanted the peridot, but oh well. Folk art color shift green flash. I'll put that next to it. And that changes things, I guess. The flash will be okay, I guess. And then I'm going to go with my mix of Soho Permanent Green Light and Artist Loft Sap Green. So I want my darker greens to be in the center. So this is already going to be different because I don't think I'm going to have enough for the two layers. Or I'm going to have too much... It's a small canvas. It's my first time doing it, so I did kind of want to see how it would come out. And I really wanted the peridot. See how much I'm paying attention reading labels. <laughs> I saw the color and I just thought for sure it was the peridot. But that's fine. And then for my darker, darker inner green, I'm going to go with the Lucas Viridian. Now I'm going to do some blues in between. I'm going to start with the Craft Smart Crisp Blue. It's kind of like a puddle pour. <laughs> um, let's see, I wanted something lighter. Mm, I think I'll wait on that one, and I'll just go with some 
this is that mix of uh, Liquitex White, Titanium White, and the Art Minds Moonbeam. And then I'm going to use some Deco Art Cerulean Blue. Looking like a lot of paint. So I'm just going to do little drops of the white again. Just like a puddle pour. So different. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the Art Minds Mysterious. Love this color. Give this one a little line. Which I should have done with the Viridian. So maybe I will just do Little drops closer to the center. That one probably doesn't need it. Not all petals are created equal, so it's okay. And then for the outsides, yeah, I'm going to still put stuff on the outside. I'm trying to use up, this is um, the Craftsmart Princess Purple and a Artist Loft Violet mix. I'm trying to use what's left in my cup up. So these will be my little outside colors, which normally people use with the green, but I love green, so I wanted a green flower. Hear the airplane outside. better. It's closer to being all gone. I actually have a lot of bottles that have just a little bit of paint left in them and I thought, oh, that would probably be, be perfect for the dips to way to use it up. I'm going to move this out of the way now. Bring it in a little closer. And then contrast. Just want a little bit of the uh, liquid textile in purple and the deco art purple pearl met metallic. Let's try to do those. Two. <laughs> it's going to be a special flower. Off. Oh, well, I guess we'll see. So I to just dampen, not saturate my paper towel. I got this one from work because I know Fiona's are more just 
said rough or starchy and these ones that work are kind of like that so this out I have a lot of paint but I know that the paper towel pulls a lot of paint so and she pushes kind of the color out so let me stretch it back in. Oops. Good thing that's on the outside. So I'm going over a bit on the amount of paint. It is very much a uh, feel thing, it's a, a touch thing to feel if the you have flattened out the paint or connected the paint with the paper towel or not. All right. So here's the part where everyone holds their breath. Oh. So you bring corner to corner in. Then you bring your other corners. You bring your corner in again, other, make your little pocket, and a slight twist, and up. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> Still like a lot of paint on there. I'm going to try to move. So I think because my canvas was more, um, you know, not square, I kind of got that strip line that she gets on her long ones. There is a lot of paint on there, so uh, I'm going to try to blow this center out a little bit, just because I can see there's a lot of paint in that center, and it's kind of all facing one way, and I just want to see if I can get it to go the other way. Now, uh, this isn't going to be the true, like, um, soft dip because the paints have silicone in it, but it's actually a real pretty. Oh, Jeannie, I should have been like you and had a photo paper ready. I like the cells in it. I'm going to mess with the center, and then I'm going to mess with, um, let me use my straw. 
Uh, I'm going to try to blow out the purples. There's and maybe a little bit of the greens. Only because I see some bare patches on the canvas. And I don't really want that. Yeah, I'm going to try the holes. Maybe. Let's see. Nope. Anyway, I'm going to try to blow out some of these sides. Do the straw the wrong way. Just because I don't like the bare canvas areas. Right, let me try this hose again. It helps if you don't hit your canvas. bare spots. Maybe I don't need to blow it out. I am thinking this paint is in danger of cracking because the amount that I have on it. But we'll see. Just it's gonna just have a little texture. it would have been even better if I hadn't used so much paint but I know too little um, makes it like real light That's weird. It must have been how I pulled or something that I have that. <laughs> Probably because it's... I don't know. Why do you go like that, Fiona? Tell me, tell me.
I'm just making sure the paint, the white is a, a bit on the dry spots, even though it was the bottom. Pull that in. Oh, baby, don't get on here. And I'm trying to keep my cat from <laughs> moving on to my painting surface. She's suddenly very interested. I think it was the blowing sound. She's like, what's that? My Mysterious is just going to dry dark, so the need to kind of try and push it out. But that crisp blue is pretty pretty. All right, the rest I'm just going to mess around with the white on the sides. I'm going to leave it because it's not too bad. I just worry that it is going to crack a bit from the amount of paint that's left on it. I didn't think about tilting it. Nope. It's not as bad as I think. I think it's just the texture that makes it look that way. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that button. If you click on the bell next to the button, it'll upload. It will, sorry, and not upload. It'll notify you when I upload a new video. Click like and share. Leave a comment. You know how your dips have tried, have come out, how you've been doing on them. Some of these techniques, they definitely look a lot easier than they are. I think I want all these edges. I'm going to mess with them. I don't want any solid colors, but let me go ahead and bring you down. Or a close up. So I think it's pretty good, not too bad for my first try ever. Got my greens, so that um, aqua flash will definitely, sorry, will definitely be brighter. Um, will be a nice touch to it. I wanted the peridot, but I wasn't paying attention. But I like the look of the cells. Just too much paint. But, yeah. So though this is my first try at your dip, Fiona. Let me know what you think. And everyone else, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.